etc. And I have to be really honest with you guys. I was having a very, very serious debate over if I wanted to open a bunch of rings for everybody or watch The Handmaid's Tale. So, <laughs> rings won out. Even though the kids are sleeping, this may be my only opportunity. There's something. Okay. I thought there was a card in there. But I have three packages, three different sellers, a bunch of rings, and I gotta test them. I wanna have a uh, jewelry show sometime in the near future of all sterling items. So that's what I got this for. Plus people keep asking me for more sterling rings, which is fine by me, because I love them. That's like, just a receipt. That's my, uh, my guilty pleasure. So if you guys tell me in the chat, do you guys have um, like a piece of jewelry that you always pick pick up? Like no matter how many you have, you still get more. For me, it's rings. I can't help myself. I love rings so much. I, can, I just got, these are my most recent purchases on rings. I get more and more and more and more, more than I can wear, which is part of the reason I want to have one of these sales so that I can put some of my stuff up for you guys. Some of my personal pieces because I just have too much. I have too much. All right, let's start in this box. Now this, I gotta like remember who was with what because, oh yes, I'm gonna test them. And you guys know, sometimes I don't have the best luck. Just thinking, let me get my lighting over here. Ooh, these are nice. Okay, all right, here we go. Here's the first slot. I might need to take my own rings off. I don't, oh no, I do have my mandrel. Sweet. Mandrel's right here. Oh, this, I know what this is. Okay, so these aren't all sterling necessarily. I took a gamble. I bit up on this box, and I'll tell you guys why in a second. But this one says, God is love. This one should be sterling. I'm going to test it. It feels sterling. I think it's marked 95. Yeah, it's marked 95 in there. This one is a size 7. Oh, I thought it was smaller. I kind of like it. Nice, simple silver band. That's pretty. All right, this is probably not anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but it's a fun, pretty little ring. Oh, and I'm s sorry about my boo-boo. I meant to put a band-aid over that and I totally forgot. I love like that crossover design. Um, I don't remember how I got that. Like, I, not that I don't remember, I don't know. <laughs> I was uh, building my bridge. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see. All right, this is a size eight and a little wiggle above eight. Crystals are all there. Very cute. Not sterling, but that's okay. This one should be. Um, anyhow, I was cutting down some wood in my woods to use for this bridge. And uh, I looked up and I was bleeding. <laughs> and I don't know how. All right, so this looks to be maybe a faceted glass stone. It almost looks like hematite, but I don't know. There's the camera. Say hello, camera. It's flat. It's a faceted cab. Okay, that's interesting. But this one I do believe they said was sterling. Yes, it's vintage, actually. It has sterling on the inside. It almost looks like... No, maybe not quite. It remind me of the Uncas, vintage Uncas ring. rings. I hope I'm saying that right. This one is very nice, though. I kind of like this design a lot. It almost doesn't feel sterling though. It looks it at the top, the band almost, excuse me, feels too light and maybe like too shiny, but we'll test it. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But uh, that's kind of fabulous though, isn't it? It's probably about a size seven. That's a really big guy. All right, now this is the one that I had some interest in. Oh no, it wasn't this one. Okay. <laughs> I had to sneeze. Okay, um, I don't know, it says 4K. G-E-G. -E -G. 
I have never seen 4K G E G. Now it might be gold electroplate. I don't know what that second G would stand for. And why 4K? It might be 14 karat and the, the 4 just got uh, cut off. Now the reason I gambled on this was because of this ring. Because the person described it as having 4K on it and then some question marks. And in the listing, you can't tell. Up close, I can tell that this is not real gold. It's just, it's too shiny. It's too shiny to be real gold. But um, in any case, I was hoping that they just, just the one in front of that four got cut off. And But I didn't know if there was anything else on the inside. They did not disclose that. Otherwise, I would have known right away, obviously. GE, generally not a good thing. But all that said, it is very pretty. Three marquee cut faux diamonds who knows what they really are probably glass i got man my hands are really beat up <laughs> for this video i'm so sorry i have i've been working y'all i've been building a bridge literally literally building a bridge out over my marsh my hands are just a little stained and beat up so i'm sorry about that this one is also really pretty this i think might have one of them is an avon it is not this. This one says uh, 18 karat electric plate. And then there's a little logo next to it. So 18K gold filled. I'm okay with that. I don't know if that stone in the middle is glass or amethyst. It looks like an amethyst. There's my loop. If I can loop this bad boy, we'll know. But then I want to get a move on because I got to work somewhat quickly. Oh, there goes the top of that. You know, because the kids are taking time bombs. You never know when they're going to wake up. Yeah. All right, well, my hubby's coming down. He wanted me to join him playing disc golf, so I'm going to go do that real quick. But this does look like a really amethyst. I see an inclusion in there. All right, BRB. All right guys, I'm back. <laughs> My husband interrupted me to play around a disc golf with him and some friends. And uh, I just never came back. It's been like three days and here I am now. Uh, let's continue. I honestly don't remember where I left off. I'm pretty sure this we already looked at. This was supposedly sterling. We're gonna test it. This also supposedly sterling. See, my hands are all naked now. My boo-boo's healed a bit more. <laughs> okay, we looked at all these. This guy. Oh, it's alpaca. Okay, so we have alpaca silver here with a little pink mother of pearl. That one's nice, too. I like the split shank on that. This one's probably also about an eight. I like that guy. And if you guys see anything you like, please shoot me a message. Let me know if you want to buy it. I'm open to selling anything. All right, and then this one has got some sloppy metal. Are you also electroplate? Does it say super? Looks like it says super in there. I don't know what that means. This is pretty. You're probably about a six, huh? Uh, a hair over six on this one. I don't know what super is. I've never seen that inside of a ring, but it has a nice, big, brilliant cut with some baguettes, some CZs, presumably. Probably roughly about maybe a little less than two carats. You know, diamond equivalent. Okay, so let's test these super duper quick. We'll just test them as we go for each batch of rings. Because then I won't hopefully have as much trouble remembering what's what. Okay, and the only thing I need is like a paper towel or something to whip this up. All right, we use, in this town, we use 18 karat gold testing to test our silver. 
the mark should stay and then have this blue situation pop up. It's like a light silvery blue and both of them are doing it. So those are both truly, truly silver. Bam, I'm gonna pop them on just for the interim and because my hands are naked. All right, so there we go. So that was this batch, that was the first box. I'm gonna tuck those aside right now. And it's a tissue anyway, so I'll wipe this off really quick with this tissue. And then we're gonna bust open this other bag over here. This one's already open. These were the rings that came in it. Let me tell you really quick while I'm opening this. If you guys saw, no, this isn't the one, it's this one. It's this one. If you guys saw, look at this, see the rings? Oh, ooh, ooh, I can't wait to open this. This is so poorly packaged in my opinion. I can feel every bit of silver and exactly what it is and I could feel it through the bag. Maybe that was, maybe that was this bag. Um, and it made it through fine. The one that got damaged had way more padding than that one. Well, here we go. Sterling Lane here, I'll give you the business information just in case, you know, you like what you see, go to the store. Okay. Oh, and by the way, the follow up with that is I returned all the broken silver and the buyer was extremely awesome and nice about all of it and she refunded me no problems. I didn't even have to pay return shipping, it was fun. All is well in the world. Okay, here we go. These should all be silver, I think, so. Get my plate ready up here. All right, first guy, first one up. Oh, this has that marcasite ring. Okay, sadly, this one is already small for me. I can tell that. It's about a five, five and a half, maybe. Here's my little indent there. It's like five and a quarter, dang. For those skinny finger ladies. That is not I. Nice little trillion cut stone in the center there. Looks like it's probably topaz, if I had to wager a guess. All right, so that's the first guy up. Let me, sorry, let me give you a better look. Trillion cut, split shank, it's presumably sterling. There is a little 95 mark in there. That's like actually a very sizable center stone. If you get good deals on these, oh look in the double prong too, that's nice. You know, sometimes it's worth it to get them sized up, you know, if you get a good deal on sterling. I do do that every now and again. Oh, look at you. God, I love marcasite. Mother of Pearl and marcasite is a nice pairing. That's what this guy is. All right, let me get you out of the way. Are you a, yeah, he's about a seven. Look at that. That is heavy. That's got a lot of, that's got a lot of sterling to it. The band does taper down in the back for a little more comfort fit. Mother Pearl is open in the back. That's nice. I don't mind that at all. It's not exactly my taste, but I do really like this ring, but it's probably because of those marcasites. I am such a sucker for Marcusite. I love it, and here's another one. I think this is the one that sold me on the lot. Look at it. Oh man, it's so blingy. There's a bunch of stones there. I don't know, are they prong set? Oh man, where's my, where's my loop? I don't know where it went. I'm always misplacing my stuff. Oh, it's on my table over there. All right, well, I'll try to do the best I can. It looks like they might actually have prongs. Okay, all right. Check me out. I love this because I love wearing Margasite and my diamonds at the same time. This, or my faux diamonds. I, I really don't have as much diamond jewelry as I wish I did. <laughs> Side comment, I could use more diamonds. Who couldn't? And this would go so well with them. Those are really bright and sparkly. All right, I am gonna test this guy, but I'm also going to wear him 
in the interim because I like that. Okay, and then two more out of this bag, and then the last bag is the one I'm jazzed about. If I remember correctly. Oh, look at this little artisan piece. A little gold paw print in the sterling. I wonder if that's real gold. It might just be plated. I'm afraid to scratch test it. 925. It's a little, it's a little bent. Oh yeah, that thing moves. That, that's bendable. So if you like it and it's too big, you can always just squish it a little bit. That's kind of cute, isn't it? I like that. This is fitting very comfortably on my seven finger. So wager roughly about a seven. Cute. All right, and the last one in this lot right here. Oh, it's another, oh, oh, hello. Hi. Hello, friend. Oh, wow. Wow. That thing is sparkling like crazy. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a CZ. That almost looks like, um, I'm sure it's not Morganite, but gosh, it almost looks like Morganite. Or not Morganite, I'm sorry, Moissanite. With how much sparkle that has. Are you a seven? No, it's too small. Darn it all. It's so pretty. Oh, I love this one. Why? Why do you have to be so small? This is a five. Oy. Can I get away with it as a pinky ring? What do we think? <laughs> it's a bit tacky on my pinky ring, but God, I love that. I love, love, love that. Oh, that's pretty. It's open in the back, too. Oh, I love it. All right. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get these guys all tested. And then we'll open that last one. This might end up being a long video. Maybe. Maybe I'll have to do that last one as its own video. One, two, three. I'm sorry, I'm like totally out of frame. My bad. Four. Now this guy, he looks like he might be plated a little bit. Maybe with some rhodium. He's pretty shiny. Oh, we already did that one. Okay, cool. So these are our contenders. Place your bets. They seem like they're all silver, just by feeling them. They very much feel like silver. All right, silver. Silver, silver, silver. This guy's taking a minute to show up. There he is. Yep, they're all silver. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. All right, cool. Cool, cool. This one I'm going to wear for now. And this one I'm going to wish I could wear. If only. He's so He's got like crazy sparkle going on. To me, I don't know how it looks to you guys on the camera, but looks good to me. All right, you know what? Is, well, no, I'm just going to keep going. Screw it. Let's just do it all. Let's just do it all. Right? Why not? Okay, I need a box or something to throw these in. All right, whatever. We're going to throw them all in this little bag. Okay. The, I'm going to think about him. I really like him. <laughs> I don't want to give him up yet. I can't do it. Okay, this one. This is the one, you guys. This is the one. If this ends up being a disappointment, I'm going to be very sad. But I'm hoping that it's going to be as awesome as I'm hoping it's going to be. And hoping nothing's broken because, dang, that shipping, this packaging is abysmal. Good God, it's awful. I mean, this is it. This is so thin. Like, for real. I can just feel everything right there. And I can feel it right through the package, too. I can't remember if this is... I think this was the one that this one shipped in. <sighs> anyway. Let's do it. Oh, look at them all. Oh, man. That doesn't look real. These look really shiny, you guys. That doesn't look real. This definitely does not look real. Oh, bummer. Bummer. I can tell you right now with about 90% certainty that we're going to have some fakies in here. 
Uh, but man, look, look at them all. Uh, all right, let's do, we're just gonna test as we go. It's gonna be my screenshot for the thumbnail. Bam, right there. Okay, look at that. That is too saturated to be real. Oh, that's beautiful though, isn't it? That blue, it's not even coming across as nicely as it looks in front of me. That is so pretty. All right, it's Mark 925, but I don't think so. I'll be very pleasantly surprised if it is. Nope, it's copper. It's scratching copper, so we can already be pretty darn sure that one's gonna be fake. God, what a bummer. I don't want to return, this one's fake too. There's the 925, son of a biscuit, y'all. Some of these are real, it looks like. Another pretty fakey. 925. I can spot them, you guys, I'll tell you. I've done this enough times to be able to tell when I look at it. Another fake. You know, I went to this um, thrift store in Richmond, and they had this ring set for like $120. None of these are real. I'm telling you this right now. None of these are real. None of these. Can you see this lineup? Probably not. Bam. So far. We've got what? One, two, three, four, five in the mix. So far. I don't think any of them are real. Wow. I am so pissed. I'm not even going to apologize for saying it. For anybody who bought from this person thinking they were getting real silver because you know that that's what they do i'm not saying this person specifically is doing it now this this looks like a design i've seen on jtv actually but it doesn't feel real so it makes me wonder if it's a copycat design or what anywho in to finish my story over the richmond thing none of these are real i can tell you that right freaking now um they want $120 for it. I was like, do you guys test your metals? And they're like, sometimes. All right, look, see, they all disappeared. I mean, you can tell anyway, they're scratching copper. Silver doesn't scratch that color. There you go. Not a one. Man, you know, I was going to have this. Okay, hold on. One story at a time. All right, here we go. <laughs> People call me squirrel brain all the time in the chats, and you all are not wrong. Um... Anywho, I, I looked at those rings, and I could tell just by looking at them they weren't real. Those were not genuine stones. They were glass. And the silver didn't look right. And they just... This... Oh, my gosh. This is definitely not real. This is the fakest-looking emerald or uh, opal I've ever seen. It looks like... I don't even think that's glass. It's like little flakes of plastic inside of resin. God, this is awful. Okay, that's fine. Sometimes you gotta make videos like this too, just in case they dispute it. Also not real, but man, that's really pretty. On the filigree work there. The stamp is pretty. The ring is fake, but the stamp is pretty. I don't think a single one of these are real. Well, looks like I'll be doing another return. Not real. Is anyone even watching anymore? I'll tell you right now, none of these are real. The only one that looks like it could be real is this one. You know, I don't even know if there's a point in testing these. That one's fake. I can just tell by looking at them. That stone is really pretty though. Metal's fake, metal's fake. That one's probably real. We'll test that guy just for funsies. Fake. You can tell looking at the stone too. Look, look at this stone. Look how wonky that stone shape is. And the the silver is just ultra ultra shiny, and it's very lightweight. You can tell by the weight of it. You know, probably also if I run my let's see if I run my magnet over it. Let me see if these will pull up with the magnet. That does. That's not a surefire way at all. Because there's a lot of alloys they use that aren't magnetic, but... Yeah, see, like... Oh, no, that one is magnetic. 
Are you? Yep. It's not like the greatest pull, but it's pulling. That one's not. That one's not either. That one's not either. That one is a smidge. You? I mean, it doesn't matter. These still are 100%. That one is. They're not real. This one's not either. You can just tell. They're just way too lightweight. Man, I'm so irritated, y'all. I'm so freaking mad. I was so enthusiastic about this because they all looked like really gorgeous topazes. And, you know, I, I paid for them a price that would be reasonable for a wholesale lot of sterling. This, you can tell so much, is fake. First of all, nothing is that color. Maybe, maybe you can get a fluoride in that color. Maybe Grand did right, but that would be so uncommon. And this metalwork is just so crappy looking, and it's super light for how big this stone is and how much metalwork is happening there. It's like super duper light. So, no. This, I will test this one. I'm, this, I would wager, is probably sterling. Looks like sterling with some sort of turquoise in there. And that's probably the only thing that's real. That's kind of a cool little artisan piece. And here we go. They are all disappearing. And that one is silver. So we got one ring out of all of these is real. Real sterling. All right, so here you go, guys. People say all the time, but it's marked. I've had this happen before. I've bought stuff. And uh, the seller is like, but everything was marked 95, so obviously you're wrong. They are sterling. Did you test them? Well, no, but they're marked. Uh, okay, here's an entire batch of rings that are marked 925, and not a one of them is actually silver. I don't even have to test it to tell. I can scratch it and tell. And if I ask to test it, it confirms. But look. Look at all, see this is silver. These are all the rest of them, all that copper. All right, so there you go. This was a uh, testing metal slash lesson in fake jewelry. Test everything, guys. And even if you're buying stuff for yourself, like at resale from a non-reputable source, a random you know, seller on eBay, for example, you should get an acid testing kit. They're not that expensive. Seriously, 20 bucks or less, and you can have exactly what you need to test your sterling. But I suggest it for all metals you buy so you don't get screwed. Cool. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be it for this one. Uh, eventually, I'll have a sale. I was hoping I was having a sale with all these sterling rings, but since they're not sterling whatsoever, guess that's not happening. I'm going to go message the seller now, and we'll see. We'll see how this turns out, but at least we did get some goodies. And that's all I can say about that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I'll check you on the next one. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. Bye-bye.